I'm Zach. I'm Dave. I'm Matt. I'm James. And we are American Authors, and you're on Teen Diaries. <laughs> We met. Harmony. What? eHarmony.com. <laughs> <laughs> e eHarmony. e e e e yeah. I typed in. Single guys play music looking for love. In Bushwick, New York. <laughs> Enter. I promise I'm not that needy. Dot, dot, dot. Or am I? <laughs> 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 yeah, we met back in college at Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. And, um, yeah. We kind of all knew each other from around. I first met James. He was the first person I met when I walked the doors of Berkeley. Yep. I opened up the doors and he's just standing there like, Standing oh, there. <laughs> no, he, he was the first person I met at Berkeley and the first person I started playing music with at Berkeley. Yeah. So I was, um, I was doing the, the songwriters club at Berkeley and then he came to a meeting and we started showing ideas back and forth and working together. I know Dave. Dave was creeping me out on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually true. Eharmony.com aside. That's, that's aside. a true eHarmony story. I was creeping. Yeah, he was searching people who went to Berkeley on yeah. Facebook. So I just got Facebook, it was cool, and I was like, alright, now I should find people in my network, whatever. And I was like cycling through people and he had cool music and I was like, taste or whatever, and I was just like, hey man, love to play. And he was like, cool man, have fun at school. See you never. <laughs> <laughs> See you never. Next thing you know. <laughs> Yeah, he fell in love with me. And then Zach and I had been playing in projects together. Yeah, it's kind of like you have to figure out everyone's personality. And it's kind of like a give and take and a, and a push and pull type scenario where you know, you're writing together, you're working together, you're touring together, and you're trying to you know, create art with one another. And I think we've always been very open with our music. And that's actually the one thing that we've never really argued about where it's like, you know, giving an idea and taking that idea and saying, okay, let me put, let me go through with this to the end. And maybe this isn't my favorite thing at first, but let me hear out, you know, my partner here and work with them on this idea to try and get it as far as we can. And then a lot of the time, some of the greatest songs, like, they come from that, where it's, you know, maybe one person's not as into something as another person, but being open-minded and just working with them and, and seeing how far you can take it and it can just blossom into something really amazing. So I guess keeping an open mind um, is always really good. And hearing out the other people in your group, hearing their ideas to the fullest, not just brushing it off. Best Day of My Life was five actually like, songs. yeah, it was like five different songs, like five different ideas that each one of us had and then each idea wasn't really going anywhere on its own path. And then once we put them all together, it was just this big, I don't know, just like this big crazy puddle of a bunch of songs put together. And I remember, you know, after we kind of had like a rough version of it laid out, I left, I left the studio going, that was so weird. Like yeah. what we did today was just so bizarre. Like I don't even think that it's like, is that really cool. Like, yeah, yeah, we were all that weirded cool? out by it. It's like, you I guess it's kind of cool, <laughs> but... So just a few days. I can't even tell. And even the version we had at that time was so crazy compared to what it was turned out. It was I was insane. Saying, I remember sitting there like giving it a few hours and going, oh, God, I'm gonna listen to this. And I was like, it's actually kinda sweet. And I was like, yeah. I can't tell, I don't wanna be the first to say it. Just because <laughs> just because we're all like really yeah. doubting it so much, but yeah. and then the next day I listened to it, I remember calling you and I'm like, dude, this is sick. Like, I'm yeah. gonna end this. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I still haven't seen the commercial. I know these two have seen it in the commercial. Yeah. We've seen it live on television. And that was pretty crazy. That was yeah. like a surreal moment. We don't have television. We don't have a TV. Yeah. So the whole thing is like, we were on tour and two of us were in the hotel room and it was like 4th of July weekend or something and the most commercial came on. So that was pretty sweet. Like that was really exciting. Um, to but know it exists was awesome. To know it exists. <laughs> yeah, the coolest to thing see it on YouTube and to know that it's there is great. The coolest thing is like, I feel like when you're, you're you know, your family calls you and Hey, like, I, I just heard your song. Like, my mom, she immediately like, called me and put the phone to the TV and was like freaking out. No, yeah, yeah. that's really that cool. That was, that was cooler than me seeing it. I mean, to see my friends and families react to the story. Open mindedness and space is definitely necessary yeah. for me now, and that's for sure. <laughs> Which but, we don't have much of yeah, because yeah. we all live together and we all play in a band together and yeah. we all tour together and we all write music together. One good hit. Well, Never be friends with this guy. <laughs> no, I, small <laughs> I think, yeah. Well, the whole thing is just listening to each other. You know, I know that sounds really, really weird, but 
you know, coming from this guy. Yeah, coming get from the this hell guy. Out of there. <laughs> um, but you know, like being being on the road, being in an enclosed space all the time, and respecting each other's space, and like I said, just listening to each other. It can be difficult at times, especially with your best friends. But um, I don't know. Get over things quickly. Yeah, that's get it. over things. You know, if you have an argument or whatever happens, you know, don't hold a grudge. AmericanAuthors.com. We got Facebook.com/slash AmericanAuthors, and you can hit us up on Twitter at a author.